got London on the track Woke up with a set, what? Woke up with them racks on me, they stack like backpacks Talk, woke up with that strap on me, I went and caught that challenge I ain't got no mountains, but my mama gave me stamina So, I can't f*** Shakira, aka Doll Baby Pocahontas, and before you leave, just go ahead and subscribe below. And today I'll be showing you how to film and edit your YouTube videos on your iPhone. So it doesn't matter what iPhone you have, from the 4 up to the 7, you could use it. And if you if you're interested in starting a YouTube channel or want to know how to do these things on your iPhone, then keep on watching. And I know a lot of you want to start a channel, but you're like, oh, I don't have this, I don't have that. Like, don't complain. Use what you have. Your phone is good enough. And when I started YouTube, I started filming on my iPhone 6S Plus, and it did pretty great. And there's one thing. Your phone could film in 4K. And I'm going to show you how to do it because it then come with the setting on 4k you actually have to go and set it to 4k and it does a pretty good job so yeah I'm gonna show you how to do that and I just want to say don't procrastinate if it's something you want to do just do what you have to do you don't have to have a tripod a lighting a camera none of that stuff like if you if you want to start with your phone and you don't have a tripod just stack books stack box put it in front of bottle something like use something to hold it and if you do get a tripod and you don't have a ring light sit in front of the window sit facing the window don't turn your back to the window and film in daylight because if if you're fil if you film at night the video is gonna suck and first of all when you're filming on your iPhone don't turn the camera straight yeah don't turn the camera straight turn it horizontal and don't use the front camera because the front camera doesn't film in 4k use the back camera and what I did when I use the back camera I like get a mirror get a mirror like this and I'll put the phone like this and I'll see if I I could see what's going on I couldn't see it completely but I could see that my face is in the screen and that works and over time, I invest in a ring light and I was working with just my phone and ring light and my videos were pretty amazing. Yes, it was extremely amazing because sometimes when I decide to film outside, it's just gloomy and dark and I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Until I save the money and invest in a ring light and then now I have a camera. The tripods I use, I use two tripods, a big one and a small one. The small one is for desktop. You could invest in that. I think I paid like $9 for it. It's very cheap. I both got them on Amazon. And I also use a cell phone tripod mount adapter. So right now I'm filming on my iPhone. It's on my ring light tripod and my camera is just over here. And I just want to say, when you're filming on your iPhone, turn your phone on airplane mode. Because if someone hits you up, the video is going to stop. And this has happened to me before, where I'm filming, filming along 8 minute, 10 minutes video. And then when I go back to check the video, it only got the first 50 seconds of the video. And that really sucks, because sometimes the video be great, and then when you redo it, it's like, what the hell? But yeah, make sure you put your phone on airplane mode. If you happen to record with the front camera, always look at the camera. Don't look at the screen because you need to make eye contact with your audience. And if you're filming with the back camera, <laughs> like there's nothing else to look at but that. So yeah, that's what it looks like if I was recording on my phone and... You notice that I don't use the front camera, I'm using the back camera, and the setting is on 4K. 
And this is just a setup if I only had my phone and don't own a camera. This is one of my old videos and now that I'm looking back at it, I'm pretty annoyed. Like viewers don't want to see these two black marks at the side. So when you're filming, film horizontally. Now when you turn the camera horizontally, everything fills up the screen. Now you have a white screen and it's just perfect to watch. It's more appealing to watch. So before we start filming, we're just going to put our phone on airplane mode and also set it at 4K and we're just going to turn on airplane mode. We're going to scroll all the way down to photos and camera and we're going to click that and scroll till we see record video and we're going to choose 4K and we are ready to film. So the editing software I use on my phone is iMovie and it's free in the app store and I'm just going to create a movie by clicking that plus sign. Then after we're going to click on movie and because I already have the clip or video that I want to edit, I'm just going to search for that right now. And to add the clip, we're just going to click on the video you're trying to edit and then press that um, Tiki or Nike sign or whatever. <laughs> This is a small video I recorded and we're just going to take off the sound and by doing so we're just going to click that speaker icon and turn it all the way down and for this video we're just going to add a title so we're just going to click that T right there and we could choose different styles and I'm going to choose the pop-up we're going to click on that and then where it says title here, we're just going to click right there and delete and just write any title you want. So what I'm going to write is beautiful day in New York. This is how the title would appear. It looks pretty decent. And now I'm just moving on to the other clip and I'm going to put it on mute. Then after I'm just going to click that icon beside the T to add a filter and you have different options and I'm just gonna go with camo. Because I went a little speed, I'm just gonna click that timer icon below and just bring up the speed a little bit. So for the last and final clip, I'm just gonna turn down the volume and I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna split it in half and to do so, I'm just gonna click the scissors icon and press split. And I'm also going to add a filter to that clip. I'm going to click the filter and I'm going to add vintage. And this is how it's going to look like. And I like it. Like you could choose whatever filter you want or if you don't want any filter, you don't have to do it. And for the last clip, I'm just going to add a little bit of speed to it. I'm going to show you how to do a voiceover and you're just going to click that plus sign then click voiceover and then you're going to click record and after one you're just going to record whatever it is you want to say. After you finish recording your voiceover you can review to listen what you said. If you don't like it or you make a mistake you could retake it and if it's okay you could just click accept and your voiceover will be added to your clip. Hey guys, I hope you like this video. It's just a short clip of me showing you how beautiful New York is. So I hope you enjoy. So now I'm pleased with my voice over and I wanted to start at the beginning of my clip. I'm going to click on the voiceover to highlight it and click the scissors and then I'm going to hold and drag it. Hey guys, I hope you like this video. It's just a short clip of me showing you how beautiful New York is. So, I hope you enjoy. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to add music to your video. And you're just going to click that plus sign. Then click audio. And you could choose from theme music. And you have different options. You also have sound effects. You could also choose from your music library on your phone. And YouTube um, has a policy where you can't use copyrighted music. So, it's best you choose a music that iMovie give you and the one I'm going with is simple. 
and to add this to your video just click use and I'm just gonna turn down the volume a bit because I don't want it to be extremely loud hey guys I hope you like this video it's just a short clip of me showing you how beautiful New York is so I hope you enjoy So now that we're almost done editing our video, we're just gonna add an end title to the video and I'm just gonna say thank you for watching. So now that we are finished editing, we're just gonna click done and then we're gonna click save and that's the middle icon below. And you could either save it to Instagram, Facebook, or you could upload it to YouTube, or you could just save it in your phone. So the next project we're moving on to is how to make an intro. And we're using the app called Fanto, and it's free in the App Store. We're just going to launch it and click that camera icon, then click on plain image. And it doesn't, you could click any color, it doesn't matter. But for me, I'm not going to use the white. And we're just going to click on that measurement at the top. And we're going to scroll all the way down to iPhone 7 Plus, 6S Plus. And we're going to click the horizontal because we want it to appear in YouTube dimension. And then we're going to click that save icon at the right hand corner and click use and save. And after we did do that, we're going to go to the internet. And we're going to search up any kind of texture you want. I'm going with the pink fur and I'm going to save this to my phone. And then go back to Fonto and click those three lines and click add image. And then I'm going to go for the picture I saved from Safari and click done. So now that our pink fur is on our white background, we're just going to go ahead and click alpha and we're going to turn it all the way down so we could see the white background. Well, basically, it's going to be transparent because we want the pink fur to be the same size as the white background. And then we're going to go in size and increase it a bit. And then after, we're going to decrease the width and the height to fit the white background. So after we're done doing that, we're just going to go back and click alpha and bring it back all the way up. Now that our new background is the same size as the one we had before, now we're just going to add like a photo, like it's whatever you want. I'm just going to add one of my photos and I'm just going to size it up a bit to however I want it. So now that we are done, we're just going to click that icon at the bottom right hand corner and save it as a PNG. And because we want this photo to be a video, we're going to go over to iMovie and create a project or movie rather. And we're going to select that photo we just worked on. And I'm just going to play it to show you how it's going to appear. And this is what we don't want. We don't want it to be moving all around. So what we're going to do is click the project that we're working on to highlight it and then we're going to um, zoom in, zoom out on the bigger screen and we're going to click Can Burn Enable and then the, video, the photo is going to be still and then after we're just going to drag it out to the amount of seconds that we want. So now that our photo is still and in a video form, we're just going to go ahead and click done. And then we're going to click that bottom middle icon to click save. 
and then you're just going to choose whatever quality you want it to save in. So our intro is a finish and I'm just going to use an app called Vaunt and this is used to edit videos and you could have text moving around and that's what I want to do so I'm just going to launch the app and I'm going to click on that camera icon and press load new video. I'm just going to select the video that I'm using for my intro and click use original size and I'm just going to wait for this to load. And when it's done, I'm just going to click anywhere on the screen to add a title. And I'm going to add, I'm going to type each word separately. This is the font I'm going to use and I'm choosing a white, choose the font to be white with a pink stroke. And I'm going to go ahead and type the other word which is Pocahontas and I'm just going to use the same font with the same color and the same stroke. So I'm just going to go ahead and place the word where I want it to be and also change the size to how big or small I want them. So I'm just going to add some effects to the words and I'm just going to click the none in the lower left hand corner and this is just going to show you if you want your words to fade slide right slide left zoom in zoom out transverse right or transverse left and i'm just going to choose zoom in so now we're just going to replay it to see what it looks like and then we're going to move on to the other word and it's the same step but this time i'm just going to choose a different transition and i'm using the slide left so now that we chose a transition, it's time to time when each transition comes in. So I want the doll baby to come in first and then after Pocahontas. And we're just going to click that timer down below in the right hand corner. And this is self-explanatory. Just mess around with the time and you'll get the hang of it. So now that everything is how you want it to be, just go ahead and save the video and by doing so, you're just going to click that icon at the right lower hand corner and you're just going to choose a quality what you want to save it in. I'm just going to save it in full HD and click export and save video and you're finished. So I'm going to show you guys how to make an outro and I'm just using the app Fanto. And we're going to launch the app, click the camera icon. Then click plain image, click any color. I'm gonna click that measurement, choose iPhone 7 Plus. And for this one, I'm just gonna use different colors. So I'm just gonna combine at least three colors together. At the top right hand corner, you could click vertical and it shows you different style, how it will appear. So I'm just gonna go with vertical because I just like how gradient it looks and I'm just going to click apply then we'll click that right hand icon and click use and save. Now that we have that pretty background, we're going to click anywhere on the screen to add text and what I'm going to write is thanks for watching and I'm just going to choose a font to use any font you want. It could also change the size, the color and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the screen again to add another text. And this is where I'm going to write last video. So I'm just going to go ahead and type that in. And I'm just going to use the same font and the same white color because it's just an example video. So I just want to show you how it's done or how I do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some stickers. I'm just going to click the three bars. And then add image and I'm going to use that MacBook I downloaded off the internet. And whenever you're downloading icons like these, always download in PNG with a transparent background. So 
So nowadays most people outro have their social media. So we're just gonna go ahead and add the Instagram icon, the Twitter and the Snapchat. And we're just gonna position this wherever we want it. And also we're just gonna add a subscribe icon. Now that we are finished, we're just going to save this photo and we're going to click that icon in the lower right hand corner and save it as PNG. So again, we want this photo to be a video and we're just going to use iMovie. I'm pretty sure you remember this step and all we have to do is highlight what we're trying to edit and then after on the, at the top on the bigger screen, we're going to zoom out. And we're gonna click Ken's Burn, Enable, and the photo should be still. And then we're gonna drag that yellow line to extend the time to however long you want it to be. And we're just gonna click Done and Saved, and we have a video. So all we have left for our outro is to add moving text, and we're just gonna open Font, Load New Video, select the outro, and we're just going to add our social media names because that's all we have left. I'm just going to click anywhere on the screen and add text. And for me, I'm just going to write doll baby. And remember, you could change the font, the size, and the color. So this is the font I'm going to use and I'm just going to add a stroke to the white lettering and for the Instagram one I'm just going with a pink, for Snapchat I'm just going with a yellow and for Twitter I'm just going with a blue. So I'm just going to add a transition style and I'm going to click the none in the lower left hand corner and I'm going with slide left. And I want Instagram to appear first and Snapchat then Twitter. So I'm just going to set different times for each of them and you got to click the words separately to add transition and to add time because you can't really add them all at once. So now that everything is how I want it to be, I'm just going to go ahead and save it. And I'm going to click that save icon in the lower right hand corner. And I'm going to click full HD export and save video. And we're finished. So now that we've finished editing our main clip, our intro and our outro, we're going to combine all those videos together. So we're going to go back to the our first clip we made and we're going to click edit and then we're going to click that plus sign to add our intro. So we're just going to go ahead and select that. And then we're going to go all the way at the end of the video and add our outro. And this is how the video looks. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. It's just a short clip of me showing you how beautiful New York is. So, I hope you enjoy! So now that we have a full YouTube ready video, we're just going to go ahead and click the save button. You could either publish it to YouTube, save it on Instagram, email it, and we're just going to choose the quality. So I'm going with 1080p and we're finished.
So the last and final thing I'm going to show you is how to make a thumbnail and we are using Fonto. So we're just going to click a plain image and we're just going to go for the iPhone 6s Plus. And I'm using a pink canvas or background, whatever, because pink is my favorite color. And we're just going to tap anywhere on the screen and I'm just going to write how to film and edit. And I'm just going to position this where I want it to be. And I think I'm just going to use the font it's already in. I'm just going to add like a stroke to it, probably blue or purple. So I'm just going to write the rest of the title, which is on your iPhone. And I'm just going to use the same font, probably with a different color stroke. So now that we have a title, we're just going to add images and I'm just going to use an iPhone I downloaded off the internet and when you download these images, always download in PNG with a transparent background. I'm just going to size this to how big I want it and I'm also going to add the iMovie icon, the Fonto icon and the Vunt icon and that's our thumbnail. So now that you're finished, just go ahead and save and always save it in PNG. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video was really helpful for you guys. And I just want to say don't procrastinate. If YouTube is something you want to do, go for it. And don't forget to subscribe. And you can stop me on Instagram, Snapchat, and on Twitter. See you in my next video. Bye!